Welcome back to my channel everybody. I know it's been a little bit, but today I'm here to show you how to make lemon and rosemary chicken. It's super easy, full of flavor. Let's get in this video, let's go. Welcome to Cavie's Kitchen. We're gonna start off by seasoning your chicken thighs liberally, very, very well. Start off with a little bit of EVOO for those Rachel Ray fans, a little extra virgin olive oil. And the seasonings we're keeping simple, onion powder, lemon pepper, garlic salt. That's it. You can get creative if you want to, but this is how I do my chicken. But it's your house, you do what you gotta do. I hope everybody's been doing well and staying safe out there and getting all vaccinated and getting back out there into the, to the world. I know we've all missed it. I know I've missed you. I took a little bit of time off, but I'm back now. There you go. Season liberally. Let the spirit guide you. You're going to take this fresh rosemary, chop it up. I love the smell of rosemary. This particular dish will go well with fresh herbs in general. So thyme and basil will work really well. But the smell of rosemary just really opens your, your palate up uh, or your senses up to me. It just wakes up this dish for me. Uh, and you mix that with the citrus notes, heaven. All right, using the tools that God gave you, go ahead and give this chicken a thorough mix, ensuring that we get a little love on every nook and cranny. Mix it up real good. And then once you've got it done, you'll be able to see if you need to add any more seasoning or if you think you got it just right. Ta-da, I think we hit the money. Now don't forget to wash your hands. And then we'll get started on our next step. Slicing the lemons. These lemons were massive, and I could tell you, at first slice, it was on. I'm like, yep, I'm hungry right now, but I'm not about to eat a lemon, so let's get this dish made. You know, and you want them pretty even, not too thick, maybe a quarter inch or so. And if you don't feel confident, you know, slicing these, uh, you can feel free to use different methods to slice your lemons. Get a glass baking dish and you're going to make a full layer on the bottom of lemons. Oh, so excited for this dish. You know how it is. You come home from work, been slaving all day. Now you're like, all right, I need something quick, easy, and full of flavor. And I want it now. And I'm overeating fast food, so here we go. That's why we do this, right? <laughs> All right. Now that you've got your lemons down, you're gonna go ahead and drizzle some extra virgin olive oil and lay your rosemary sprigs or whatever herb you've chosen to use. Uh, this dish, the chicken rendering, as well as the oil and the lemon juice creates a sauce within itself, but I've chosen to elevate that and really use the pan drippings to make a gravy. I'm gonna show you how to do that next. All right, so I've already started a batch off. You wanna go ahead and put uh, your chicken thighs skin down over medium high heat in a oiled pan or buttered pan. And you just wanna kinda let them do their thing for about three to four minutes you know you can slowly start to check for a crust you want it beautiful and golden brown we are just partially cooking these just to get that color because we're going to continue to bake them or cook them in the oven uh, until they're uh, perfectly done there could go a little bit longer Mm, the house is really smelling good. Uh, that's what we're looking for. I'll go ahead and we'll brown the other side just to keep it 
beautiful and lovely. Oh my god, that one looks amazing. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, you want to be stubborn? Oh, I see how you do. <laughs> All right, and now we'll go ahead, now that they're finished, we're just gonna place them carefully, making sure there's room for all of them on top of the lemons, because we're gonna go ahead and throw them in the oven, which should be preset, or preheated, pardon me, to 350 degrees or 400 degrees, depending on your oven. And you definitely wanna make sure um, you cook them until they're 165 degrees internal temperature. Now we're gonna use these pan drippings and make a beautiful sauce or a gravy, depending on how you feel about life. So we're gonna go ahead and toast, or brown, if you will, some fresh garlic. Be careful not to burn it. Uh, we're gonna do this over medium heat. Then you'll add in a stick, yes, one whole stick of cold butter. Uh, this will help to emulsify the sauce. Stir it all around there, get all the nooks and crannies. You wanna squeeze the juice of half a lemon. I do this method to ensure I don't get any seeds in there. Now we'll add in our heavy cream. Give her a lovely stir. I know it doesn't look like much now, but she cuts her heat up on high and watch the magic start to unfold. And if you think your sauce is too um, runny, feel free to add or make a slurry to add in to thicken that up. And look at this. Come on, baby. You can't tell me you aren't ready to stop up right now. <laughs> uh, don't leave your pan. You don't want your gravy or your sauce to burn. Turn your heat down to low once you get the consistency that you're looking for. You'll know it's done when it coats the back of the spoon. Taste. You might need to adjust for seasonings. I chose to squeeze the second half of my lemon because I wanted a more acidic bite to this sauce. Look at the finished results. Oh, the lemon, the rosemary, the garlic, the herbs, the spices, it's all just hitting me in the, in the face right now. This is the sauce that I was telling you about at the bottom. You could pour that over rice, asparagus, or you could spoon it on top of the dish itself. You can actually eat the lemons that have been baked in the sauce on the bottom, which we'll use for a garnish now. Now don't forget to make your plate pretty. Cover with that sauce and enjoy. But thank you for always for watching and not skipping the, the video, watching it throughout, because that really helps out the channel. Uh, I'm not gonna play any like tricks on my, my viewers or anything like that where, with putting a clickbait in there, but I just appreciate you hanging out with me and hopefully I'm enough. Because um, you know there are two things in this world that everyone can agree on, food and booze. Those are the two things that unite everybody. Uh, but yeah, God bless your heart and all your parts. I can't even continue to speak. So I'll see y'all next week. You already know how I do it. Gotta have that taste though. You know, it just looked so good. I, look, I paired it with uh, asparagus and basmati rice because that's what I had. Look at that. This bite's for you. <laughs> all right friends i've already said it but i'll say it again i can't even continue to speak so i'm gonna see y'all next week as i do my happy dance <laughs> thank you for watching i'll see you next time 
And like always, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.